All right, let's go ahead and begin. So my name is Matthew Dufresne. It's nice to meet everybody today. I am the manager of sales here at Law Ruler. Today, we are going to be going over how to automate your marketing to grow your legal practice inside of Law Ruler. Our agenda today, we are going to be going over how to automate inbound marketing, how to take a look at outbound marketing, and what a few of the best practices look like to make sure you're getting the best of all of your marketing efforts. So let's go ahead and let's dive in. So let's talk about the inbound marketing first. A lot of firms do um, a good amount of inbound marketing. It's where a majority of the marketing spend is created from. Inbound marketing can be anything from your directory, such as Avo, Martindale, and Super Lawyers, to your Google products, your social media, and your landing pages. Now, the most important part of how to automate these um, inbound marketing of, um, efforts is to make sure that everything is communicating with each other. You want to make it a simple and seamless process in order to make it as automated as possible. First, we have to simplify before we automate. So what do I mean by simplify? I mean that we have to make sure that everything communicates to each other and pulls into a single source that we can attack at once. We don't want it to be staggered. We don't want it to be manual. We don't want it to go to an email inbox and then never hear from us again. We want to make sure that everything has a clear drive and a, and a process to move forward with. That will help you convert more leads and make your marketing spend quite a bit more valuable. You get a bigger ROI. So the first step in that is going to be to create a program is to be able to integrate a program with an open API. The open API is going to take any of the marketing sources you're advertising on inbound and funnel them directly into that system. What that's going to do is allow automation to take over so you can reach out to them and make sure they're responding to it in a timely manner. It'll also put them in workflows. It'll create tasks. It'll make sure that now that you've generated that lead and you've generated that marketing um, that effort, you now have an effective process to handle it. So what will happen is as soon as those leads come in from any of those inbound spaces, come into through Law Ruler's API directly, whether it's a phone call or an email or a contact form, anything like that, it will create a lead automatically. That lead will get contacted via email and text or automation. It'll queue up tasks. It'll queue up somebody to call them back. You know, it'll be able to handle it very customized to how your firm wants to handle it moving forward. Making this process automated is going to increase that conversion rate pretty significantly. When you're looking at a manual versus an automated approach to marketing efforts, you're talking about the difference between 10 to 15% in conversion just right off the bat. That's without solidifying and finalizing the process. That's normally just by making that simple change. As you go through and you fine tune everything, that's where you get the most value. That's on the inbound side. The other side too is the outbound marketing. Phone calls, newsletters, drip campaigns, the mailers, your billboards. Outbound marketing campaigns are also extremely important because you want to be able to get your name out there and use the leads you've already generated from your inbound sources to get the most ROI out of them. Once you close a lead, it doesn't mean that lead is gone forever. It doesn't mean that you capitalized everything you can. You can still ask for referrals, send out newsletters, holiday cards, build rapport. So you also want to have a system that can automate that outbound marketing process. The most important part of both of these automated uh, marketing approaches is the automation. You want to have a CRM that's going to be able to power this exactly how you want it to be powered. Now with Law Ruler, the best thing is you can have the most powerful automation available in the market at your fingertips. What I mean by that is we give you the ability to filter based on different parameters, giving the client's journey that much more of customization. What I mean by that is we've all gotten the text messages from law firms, from um, vendors out there in the world that are just generic and you never respond to them because you know it's a robot texting you. You know it's a robot emailing you. It goes right to junk. If I look at it as a text, I don't even bother opening it. I just delete it. The law ruler, take that a step further. You can have this to where, let's say they come in from Facebook. You can have the system recognize it's Facebook. So when we send that outreach to them, we can say, hey, Matthew, thank you so much for contacting us on Facebook. Love to hear more about your situation. How about you give us a call here or we'll be contacting you shortly. You can even send out things like intakes. From there, you could take it to however your firm wants to take that process out. But the most important part is you're able to tailor it to that client situation and automate that first response. Why do I say automate the first response? It's the most important. 
that first response, we live in an instant gratification time and day of age. So what happens is you need to make sure you're responding to them automatically as soon as they come in, because that's what's going to lead to those conversions. If they go to a general email inbox, they go to a call queue and they just go anywhere without being contacted immediately, they're going to go down the list to Google and they are going to call somebody else. And the first person responds is going to be the one taking care of them. So very important. Now, what's important after that, of course, is the follow-up. A lot of firms, even if they do that immediate, even if they have the capability to follow up, they don't. They don't set it up. They don't set up drip campaigns. They don't set up those extra automations that will take the conversion. The best thing you could possibly do to convert your marketing efforts is to take your process from when a lead comes in and write it down as a web. When a lead comes in and they call in and we get a hold of them, we do the intake, then we qualify, we either send the rejection or the or the um, retainer documents, then we go from there to our practice management software. You want to have everything streamlined and written down, then put the emails in. For example, if somebody calls you and you don't answer, and they don't, or you call them, they don't answer, how many days are you going to follow up before moving them to a rejected no return. After they are rejected, what are your drip campaigns going to look like to re-engage them? Are you going to send out newsletters monthly? Are you going to send out um, holiday mailers? What does your process look like to re-engage that client, even though they didn't hire you this time? Because even though you do, you do not hire an attorney this time, if you keep up communication, there's a good chance that they will remember you and they will use you in the future. So you also want to create automation inside of Law Ruler to do that. You can put them on drip campaigns triggered by statuses. Do not hire can trigger a drip campaign that sends an email out once a month, however often you'd like. And it could say what you'd like. You could send out newsletters, you could send out updates about the firm, cases, anything you'd like. This is going to ensure that you stay top of mind. Now, the next important part of the automation as well is setting up automated um, phone calls. Phone calls are a huge part about converting leads. A lot of firms these days, they stick with they stick with text messages and emails. They leave out the phone calls because phone calls are more of a manual process. It takes up a lot of time to dial and call out. With Law Ruler, we are one of the only CRMs out there in the legal space that have a built-in dialer. You can use the automation to queue up calls for when your agents or your intake staff members go on to Law Ruler and they hit available. It will start queuing up calls for them and dial them as soon as you hit accept. This allows you to make calls quicker. It allows you to ensure that everybody's being followed up with in a timely manner. And it's taking more of the process and automating it versus putting more of the work on your intake staff shoulders to remember to call them, dial the number, leave call notes and do all of that. Law Ruler wants to make sure that every call is made exactly when you wanna make it and with the method you want to follow up with. It's, it's very important because that precise, simple, seamless method from start to finish is what's going to get you that extra point in conversion. Now, the next part about this too is, of course, what happens after hours? What happens if they don't want to talk on the phone? Well, a lot of firms will actually use our software to send out intakes to the firm right away or to the client. Because what will happen is we have mobile-friendly intakes. You can use automation to capture this. We don't put, and I don't recommend putting, any type of intake form on the website or any of the contact us sheets or any of the landing pages. You want to just capture contact information because the more questions you ask, the less likely those leads are to convert. You need the leads contact info in order to automate outreach. As soon as you capture them, that's where Law Ruler comes in. You send them a text message saying, hey, thank you so much for contacting us on Google. Love to learn more about your situation. Here's just a few questions I have. Please fill it out as soon as you can. And when you submit it, I'll give you a call to discuss. That's where they can go in. They can fill out the questionnaire. Normally with conditional logic, the way our intakes are set up, it's not an intimidating questionnaire. If you have 50 questions, but not every question will pertain to the same person, you could set it up to hire or show questions based on their other answers. So this allows them to qualify themselves. You can disqualify themselves. You can have a trigger automation to send out an e-sign. This way you can move them through the process automatically and have as little manual involvement as possible, but still giving them a good client journey and allowing them to leave you a good review. The intake is a very important part of the automation when it comes to marketing, because this is what allows you to, to qualify them and turn that, turn that um, marketing qualified lead into a sales qualified lead, into a conversion for your firm and a case that's going, going to give you a good ROI. So that's definitely the best part of the next step. Now, 
these features that I went over today are just the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot of other things you can do on the back end to automate the marketing campaigns. Um, one of those uh, being just having the right cadence set up, the right advertisement set up. You know, you want to make sure that you're looking at your marketing, you're going with a very knowledgeable company for your marketing and that they're able to help automate things like your SEO with backlinks. You want to make sure that your company is reputable, do a lot of research. And then when they are reputable to do research and they provide a good ROI for you, you want to make sure that, again, you have a system like this to take over the automation once they become a lead. Because the last thing you want to do is spend all that money in marketing for it to go to the middle of nowhere inside of an email inbox. So that's it for our webinar today. It's a short and sweet one. Thank you and have a great day.